So I've actually been sitting on this video for a couple days now and I've just, you know, been drinking and everything. I, I did a huge playlist full of, oh my goodness, just about every angle that you could think of with regard to the, the church and specifically Kanye, his wife, uh, you know, their, their children and, and every area of concern and inconsistency and, and problem in terms of exposing cracks in this deception that I, I see being fomented. And um, no, I'm not elitist. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I, I, I know what a sinner I am. I've seen me and yikes. Scary. Uh, I drill down into my kids that we deserve hell. Yeah, I, I think about that quite frequently, how grateful I am, because I, I know that I deserve hell. I have no no delusions about somehow thinking that I'm worthy of anything other than the justice that God would bring against me. And yet I am so comforted and so joyful and so grateful and so continually mindful of what Christ has done for me in taking my sins as if he had committed them, you know, perfect Jesus, perfect love. And he took my filthy sins, my thoughts and my words and my deeds over the course of a lifetime of breaking his commands and being in this slavery, being in this real 6,000 year curse of slavery and my body wanting the wrong things, my heart wanting the wrong things. And I start reading the Bible as a child and I'm reading it my whole life, planting seed in my heart. And I'm thinking about Jesus. I'm, I'm a very analytical type of person. I, I kind of prefer to be by myself, but I can rock it with other people too. Uh, a little bit easier for me to do that now that I'm older than when I was younger. Uh, you know, your brain finally gets all developed and, you know, all the all the kicks and bruises and stomps and cuts and everything that the world and, and you know, the, the things that happen when you grow up in an abusive situation, all that kind of stuff. Christ heals those things. He does an amazing work that sometimes is so quiet and gentle. You almost don't know it's being convened. OK, and so God is just an amazing person, Jesus Christ. But um you know, I'm very desirous of people being saved. I'm very, very bibliocentric. I am very uh, evangelical. I, I, I don't consider myself to be like that older brother with the, the prodigal um, parable where he's all ticked off that his dad is going to forgive his brother and bring him back home and, you know, kill the fatted calf and put the robe on him and the ring and all that stuff. And the brother is indignant about that. And uh, a lot could be said about that, but I want to not rabbit trail on this point. And I just want to keep it very clear that, um, you know, those who have been blessed and touched and, 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 and made free of this slavery by Jesus Christ and his blood, we're extremely happy and joyous for any miracle that is birthed and comes forth when anybody out there truly and legitimately for the sake of the purpose of why Christ gave himself up and, and literally served us in every capacity imaginable. And you can read about that in the Bible and you can see, I mean, there were times when he didn't eat because he was just serving people. There were times when he would just go and, 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 you know, he never whined about anything. He, he spoke truth. I mean, he's just perfect. And we're so unperfect. We're so, so messed up. And he came to fix everything, but not everybody will come with him. And so you have these very, very um, concrete positions of, of, of people, so to speak, the positions that people take that embody their, their character, meaning you have people who are saved and they're totally saved, right? They're born again. Their whole life and everything in it is that they are going to be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. They're walking in that, right? Justification, sanctification, glorification, right? Then you have people on the other end of it and they're not born again, right? And they want nothing to do with Jesus. They are sons of Adam and they are quite content to live this life and so on and so forth. Well, then you have this third unusual category. And I have thought about this for a lifetime. I mean, I'm talking 20, 30 years worth of, or, you know, whatever the number is, God knows, 
of contemplating and thinking about this mysterious third group. Now, I would say that they're very much unbelievers. Yeah. But they are those who are in the religious garb who think that they're saved and everything's great and dandy, only they have not been born again. And of that third subset group, you have a very interesting group of people in the leadership that are supported and promoted within the TV churches. I think a good portion of them, if not all, I really, I don't know. God knows, uh, are Masons. They have a particular Gnostic point of view, and they are there to lead the church in the direction that they want it to go, if they could. And I believe that they will lead the false church straight to the wrong Messiah. And so I mean, a lot could be said about that. A lot, a lot, a lot. So you have, you know, Mr. West and not just him, but so many celebrities, right? We've done videos about this. This is not a new topic for this channel. Every time a celebrity pops up and goes, I love Jesus. You know, we try to do a good job of really vetting that and, and finding out what's what's going on with this situation. And I think a good portion of those who are in Hollywood who have a TV camera on them, who are mass marketing this 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 move to spirituality are doing so for the great deception and leading people to the antichrist and you might go well that just sounds foolish i mean that's just that's crazy people don't do that and yet they do and so that's why video after video we've showed you tons of scripture i've just made it really abundantly clear in my videos uh maybe not 100 percent of them but more guesses than no's and and putting a lot of scripture in these videos so that people will, you know, maybe you won't listen to what I have to say. And that's fine. You know, if you don't, if you don't want to, that's completely fine. I'm just warning you of something. And this is what I think is happening. And then uh, I will want you to be considerate of what the scripture is telling you, because between me and the scripture, I'm, I'm the lower thing on the totem pole here between me and the scripture. But you start using that scripture and you start having your eyes open to some things that are kind of strange. So I really appreciate this video by this kid, uh, Pedro V. And he's got a huge base, youngin. Um, he says here, the plan is much bigger than Kanye Trump or Pope Francis. They plan to use the power of their influence to sway into the one world religion, one world government, preparing for the third temple and the Antichrist. I don't know if he sees and understands the Israeli and unbelief rabbis uh, aspect of that and Noahide and all that. See what you have, there are so many puzzle pieces all communicating together. It's so time consuming to dig out and to look at, analyze each one of the puzzle pieces, but you truly, you will not understand the back backdrop rather of where it's all going in this end goal, unless you do look into each one of those puzzle pieces. So that's why I just have tons of videos on here, all about 13 to 15 minutes. I have tons of playlists. I have so much information in here, articles and scriptures and, you know, the words of people saying things on their own. And I connect it together for you as I see the Holy Spirit connecting things together. And, and frequently it's the Holy Spirit that shows me something where I'm like, oh, I'm totally dumb. I did not even get that. Are you serious? And, and the Holy Spirit pops scriptures and thoughts and ideas into my brain. And it makes not it him, but because he's a he. But it, the idea makes sense when, and scripture says we have the mind of Christ, uh, when the Holy Spirit illuminates my understanding about something. Now, this Pedro V kid here, I like him. I like him. He has this video. It's 18 minutes. We're never going to get through the whole thing, but he has some very important information. Oh, and it's, um, the title is called Kanye is tricking you to serve Jesus not Jesus, Illuminati exposed. Now I don't use the word Illuminati because every time they try to get us into this track of thinking or they abuse a word, um, I try to wiggle out of it, right? Because I don't want to get people in a track of thinking. I want you to be in an original thought, not something that somebody else has parapuked a million times. Not that I have a problem with the word Illuminati, but uh, people tend to have this reaction where they just shut you off when they hear that word, right? They don't like to employ critical thinking skills uh, some people, because they have been programmed that when you hear that word, you just shut off. So I personally don't use that word. I use masonry, which is the name of a very sincerely held religious belief that has ties with Kabbalah. They have people in all areas of 
influence, which can be proven by the Seven Mountain Mandate, by the Bill Hybels of this world and the Lance Walnews of this world and the NAR people of this world, Paula uh, White and President Trump and Kanye and all of these people, so many more that I could never get into. But because there, here's the point, because Kanye has not renounced this I am God stuff, right? Because everybody would be talking about that if he had said it, right? He's never renounced any of those things. And now he's, you know, supposedly a Christian. So what I'm being forced to do now is I have to synthesize all of his content that he said. And um, if he has not renounced those things, then it just means he's added on to it. And uh, when you really do your research, and I, I'm not gonna have time to get into all of this right now, but we'll just keep doing videos till I get it all out of my system. He has within songs that they are creating a new religion. So that's really important that you understand that. And um, I'm not going to now, like a lot of people have been programmed to do, say, oh, well, this this is old Kanye where he's saying he's God, you know, which is not a normal thing to be saying. But because he hasn't renounced it, I have to synthesize this into one with what he has said then and what he is saying now and bring it all into the forefront of my concern, which fits quite nicely with this coming world dictator and this Jesus that he's promoting actually goes closer along with this uh, Sunday service quote here that he did uh, involving Letterman that I just want to show you real quick. He says that Sunday service will have achieved its goal when we have world peace. And so you as a Christian, or maybe you're not a Christian, you should know that the Bible tells you all throughout the Gospels, all throughout Daniel, uh, and all throughout the book of Revelation. I would read all of those books, uh, six different books. I would read all of those books. You can get them on audio if you don't like reading. But I would look at those things because that's actually the goal of the Antichrist. So when Kanye says that he has Jesus and that Jesus is king, I would tell you that there is an Israeli goal here to bring about a false Christ for this world peace. And these are Kanye's words, not mine. So I just want to show you a tiny bit of this. God, I just told you, that's who I think I am. I think this kid is right. Kanye yeah. West. <laughs> Okay, stop. They're going to do these really weird camera angles. And every time I watch this, it hits me. And I keep trying to ignore it, right? I keep just trying to go, I don't think that's a thing. And yet, the more that I continue to ignore it, the more that I think it's a thing. <laughs> okay, if that makes sense. So they're going to do all these funky camera angles. And what you have here is the, the blue versus the red, right? You have a bilateral color scheme one warring against the other. And I'm not saying Kanye gets in a fight with this Spanish guy, whatever his name is for the show. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that they employ a type of subliminal color coding that, that if you just do your research, which I totally encourage people to do your research, you, there is so much nonverbal, non-linguistic communication that goes on that these people, Edward Bernays style propaganda behavioralists are so aware of and put within the context of all of your devices for viewing to program you in a certain direction that I tell you your brain is like a supercomputer and that your body picks up even if you don't have the conscious words with which to say it. But I'm telling you, they keep pulling this red versus blue into the shot. And it's so interesting. I don't know. I don't watch him. I don't care for him. I know his wife hates, ex-wife hates Jesus with a passion and and says she'd love to kill him if she could. But he's wearing this gray. I don't know if he typically wears this gray, but to me, you're just seeing this very interesting one side against the other in color scheme. And people far smarter than myself have gone into videos showing you uh, with the uh, the Democrats, the red versus the blue, and then also the uh, a, a lot of different uh, movies that have done well. They have this, you know, this side against this side. So I just find it very interesting that he's placed here. Is this normally where he stands? Maybe you can tell me. There's something to that. Yeah. I am a God. I am a God. OK, 
Okay, so also then too, I'm very concerned with, so he's wearing a mask in that shot. Um, he is, let's go back to it. There is a hidden hand there. There is, I don't know why my computer's being a jerk right now, but it is. But anyhow, um, there is this idea of a hidden motive, a hidden Kabbalah, a hidden agenda. Uh, now, the UN will tell you straight to your face that they want to kill you. So, you know, I mean, that's not even um, difficult to understand. And now he's in the billionaire club and he wants to make it into the trillionaire club. OK, uh, there is something going on here you need to pay attention to. So much co more could be said. That's why I have a playlist full of stuff. But wa watch this ca camera angle. This is weird. Yourself to be a Christian music artist now? 